questions in, if the questions are in English, we're going to answer in English. If they're in Spanish, uh, I'll translate and translate back into, into Spanish for the, for the camera, for the audience that need it. Um, reminder, the game is at 8.36 tomorrow. And uh, since this is the second game, we don't need introductory statements, so we'll go ahead straight to the questions. Um, please state your name and your affiliation. Raise your hand, we have two microphones. So, we'll start over here, Ken. <coughs> Earl Bays, do nine in stats. Um, Kyle, how have you guys adjusted to this heat? And, and then to Nikki, um, this is not a norm for you, so how are you making up? Yes, um, it, it is very hot here, but um, I think we're adjusting well. Uh, we're, we're used to the heat, but this may be just a little bit hot, hotter and drier for us. But um, it is what it is, and we have to deal with it. And yeah, me, obviously, uh, living overseas in England isn't the, exactly the norm for me at the moment, but the teams adapted quite well. Of course, it's never easy to play in these uh, conditions. These sports science departments done everything they can to help us. Uh, prepare as, as as much as we can to deal with the, the temperatures and the conditions and you know Costa Rica have to, to do the same so we're, we're as prepared as we possibly can be. Next question. Ken, we can go in the back. Gracias. Para el técnico, Gustavo López de Teletica de Costa Rica. Eh, ¿Qué expectativa tiene en el encuentro ante Costa Rica y si considera que hay mucha distancia futbolística entre Costa Rica y ustedes? Um, what are your expectations for the match with Costa Rica and if you uh, view it, that there's a, a, a bigger gap between Bermuda and Costa Rica? Yes, uh, of course it is a gap between Costa Rica and Bermuda. Um, we're prepared for the game. We expect a difficult game. Um, we know that Costa Rica are, are the favorites, but we're going to try our best to upset the odds. Eh, por supuesto que, que hay una distancia entre los equipos, pero piensa que el equipo está preparado. Eh, se espera que sea un, un partido difícil, difícil y que piensa que Costa Rica es el favorito, eh, pero van a hacer lo mejor que puedan en el partido. Ah, Uh, Kyle, so when you upset the odds tomorrow, uh, you become favourites for the group, perhaps the competition. How do you think your players will handle that? <laughs> yeah, we we'll just have to adjust. Our players will be able to handle it if, if we were able to pull this victory off tomorrow. Yeah, there's, um, people were saying that if you were playing in one of the bigger stadiums, you could get the whole of the population of Bermuda into it. Um, how, what is it? I mean, obviously you've seen the impact in Guyana with, with what they've done and the game they had last night was a good game, I was there. I mean, they put, up, they put up a really good performance. I mean, obviously you're hoping to do something with that similar tomorrow. But what has been the impact back home with what you've achieved so far? Uh, I think the whole island's excited about it. Um, the impact is that for everyone that's playing football in Bermuda, um, it's an opportunity for them to to get onto the national team and possibly have an opportunity to play overseas and you know everyone's got something to fight for. Buenas tardes. ¿Cuáles considera usted que son las principales características de la selección de Costa Rica a las que Bermuda debe prestarle atención y cuáles jugadores específicamente le preocupan más del equipo costarricense? Um, what are the characteristics of Costa Rica um, that you think um, you need to prepare for, uh, most for, and if there's any players in particular that, that turn out that you need to prepare for? Um, Costa Rica, they move the ball well. They, they can play from back to front fast. They also can keep possession and score goals as well. But um, they have some very good players, uh, Campbell, Luis, who came on, they leave two up front, <coughs> so they always have that threat of, of catching you on the break. And um, they got some technically good players. Eh, que Costa Rica eh, mueve la pelota muy bien, eh, eh, son muy rápidos desde atrás adelante, eh, obviamente muy bien en la posición y saben hacer goles. Um, y, y tienen muy buenos jugadores en, en dos como Campbell y Ruiz 
y, y el peligro que, que te dan con los dos jugadores que, que juegan adelante, siempre están adelante. Next question, por favor, Steve. Okay, Nicky. Being part of some huge games at a club level in England, but I guess being part of an elite international tournament is one thing missing from your career. How's your experience been so far? How did you to make your mark at this tournament? Yeah, of course, um, you know, playing at this level for, for my country is new to myself. Um, you know, it's one that I'm relishing. Um, you know, I know I, I hold a lot of pressure on my shoulders being obviously the player with the most experience in the squad, but I just try and take that with, you know, a positive and, you know, ideally I like to stamp my authority in this tournament, you know, as soon as possible, starting tomorrow, obviously to try and you know, uh, show what I'm capable of, show at this level what I'm capable of and, and help my country, you know, overcome the odds and, and and get the win tomorrow. So that's what the plan is. I'm quite excited for it and hopefully I can I can start it off, uh, start my tournament off with that. As a striker, you must be encouraged by the number of chances being made against Haiti. I guess you have to believe you will have a great chance tomorrow, there will be a chance for you at some stage. Yeah, there's no, no doubt in my mind that we, we will create chances. You know, obviously, I'll come back on the Haiti game. There is the frustration that we, we had some a number of good opportunities that we, we didn't capitalize on. You know, even for myself, I squandered uh, an important chance. Um, you know, one that, you know, frustrates me to this point, but that happens sometimes in football. You know, we, we move on. The next chance I get, I'll be, I'll be looking to score, and I'm quite certain that, you know, we're looking to um, try and carve Costa Rica apart within respect to the good nation, but we will get chances and and I know we're, we're more than capable of, of, of scoring goals and if we, we, we can take the lead and, and, and take our opportunities, then I'm sure we can cause them big problems. <laughs> Don Burgess, Bernies. Nikki, the, being obviously the player at the highest level of uh, professionalism, what sort of, and all the other teams are sort of looking at you and the, the, you're the one that they're marking, what sort of uh, pressure do you, how, how do you handle that, um, knowing that the other teams are, are going to try to shut you down right at the beginning? I mean, I'm, I'm sure, you know, it's an easy way to look at it that way, but, you know, within this, this, this team, we have a lot of talented players, which, you know, I'm sure the countries have done their homework on. Um, so I know, like I said, I know there's a pressure to perform. I know there's a pressure from the opposition to try and nullify me and what I can offer. Um, but that's football at any level. Um, I, I understand that I have to go out there and perform and, you know, I have the potential to possibly be the difference on a day. And I just have to use that as, as motivation and, you know, just try and overcome what you know what they they put in front of us and if they overthink myself then the other players have great opportunities because we have some other fantastic players in the attacking departments as well so you know ideally we'd love for them to just worry about me and the other players get some joy so i know it don't work like that in football but that just comes with being the player with the most experience of course yeah, how are you coach um this is your first time here for me, for uh, Bermuda in Gold Cup, uh, and you're gonna play against Costa Rica. What is uh, the meaning? What do you feel to play against a team that have five World Cups, and you have a young team, and this could be a good experience for them and for Bermuda uh, soccer right now. So. How do you feel uh, and what is the meaning of this match against Costa Rica? For us, we are excited, obviously, to play against a nation like Costa Rica. We know that uh, they played in the World Cup. They're used to playing at this stage. Um, this is our first time at this level. So we're excited, of course. In order to improve, you have to play better teams. And this is what we'll work for to get to this stage so we can improve. You know, this is a long-term project for our country that we want to improve. So, here it is. This is the start of it. Tryon, what have you been working on to improve the mental side of the game for the players? Because I know they were down after losing to Haiti, after you know creating so many chances. But what have you been doing 
in the interim leading up to this game to ensure that everybody's in the in the right mental state to take on Costa Rica? Um, yes, we just reinforce some of the things that we have talked about throughout our training camp and one of the things is to be brave. So we want to be brave, we want to be able to play, we want to be able to force the style that we've been working on. We want to see these things come out in the game. And the game against Haiti, we did see a lot of that first half, second half. Uh, you know, they changed their game the way they were playing and it's a lesson for us. So, you know, we, we have a plan for tomorrow and we're hoping that we come out on top. We're like any anyone else. Costa Rica want to win, so why we can't uh, want to win? That's the way we think. We've got two more, two more questions, one here. Coach, I know, I know you talked about um, after the Haiti game that you would have uh, played a little differently maybe or made some changes. Now that you've had a couple of days to, to reflect on that, um, what sort of things would you might have done differently? In the first game, what I yes. what would have done different? Uh, I just thought we took a little too long to deal with their substitute that they brought on. Um, one way of relieving pressure is, is to play in their half and it gives you more time to regroup. So they were constantly coming at us, so it didn't give us time to, to regroup. So, you know, we have to learn to play without the ball better. You know, with the coach, uh, for this game, you're gonna change the style of the game for you. you I mean, with IT, it's two different styles from Costa Rica. You're gonna wait in defense for them and go fast to the attack, or what, what is the idea for tomorrow, maybe? <laughs> well, a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put it like this. To the end. Yeah. Um, I've seen I've seen several I've seen several games in this tournament, and um, Mexico played against Cuba. Cuba sat back, and they lost seven 0 So why am I gonna sit back and lose? You might as well try and attack and win. No more questions? Okay. Thank you.